Any idea of where we could find other aerial flow threads? There was one back on Chogeri, wasn't it? Although I have no idea how to get there. No worries. That's what the radar is for. Better? Yes. Thank you. for drifting. It makes faster turns. Sorry. I'm still not completely used to this model. sleeve. A bug? Better. A seed. It must have hooked on when we brushed past the plant. And it just so happens it chose the one with the green thumb. Clever seed. Natural selection doing its work. Do you think you're gonna plant it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why I asked. If we find enough of them, we could start a little vegetable patch at the nest. I vote yes. Motion approved unanimously. Just need to find some more seeds. Easy enough, don't you think? Not so sure. If these plants have few natural predators, they might have somewhat of a slow reproductive process. We'll just need to keep an eye out. You can count on me. <sighs> what? Nothing. I just can't imagine you spotting seeds right out of the wilderness. Says the guy who's incapable of finding his stuff when it's right under his nose. That's not the same. I mean, plants are kind of my specialty. So? I know what a seed looks like, don't I? Certainly. I'm sure I'll find more than you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wanna bet? Don't tempt me.
This one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? <laughs> Another scene. Two to nothing is a pretty good start. Hey, the first one didn't count. What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. Uh, okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. Repair the nest. Hmm. Turquoise nodulated cap, semi resupinate, smooth margin, and hymenium is adnate. Anastomizing lamellia conchular with sharp and regular marginates. Short visit stripe, flaring slightly underneath the lamellae. Supric fibrous flesh. Tight under the hymenophore, yet spongy around the tubes. These are definitely Helicobacinium aplanatum. Cool. You got that right. Not only is Helicobacinium aplanatum edible, but it also has healing and immunostimulating qualities. An all in one first aid kit. That's perfect. Let's binge on helicaps and immunostimulate our guts. Uh, Helicobacinium aplanatum? Yeah, yeah, like I said, helicaps. Well, there's no doubt about it now. Source was clearly colonized. Look at these. They don't look like research outposts. These are clearly dwellings. Huh. I don't understand. Why would Exonova lie in their file? That's what bothers you? There are tons of reasons people lie. I think the question you should ask is, how was the apiary able to colonize an entire planet without anyone noticing? Where did the people go? What does that mean for us? I would like to think it's good news. Really? I don't understand what happened here. But if Source had indeed been colonized, then abandoned, that dramatically increases our chances of finding something to repair the nest with. That's what you call good news? No small victory. Okay. We'll make do.
you know what? Walking is nice too. That way, you have time to enjoy all the little bugs crawling around. I'm not seeing any bugs. That means we're walking too fast. Share those. Another one. Master at work. <laughs> Look, these two are stuck. Are you sure this one is ripe? It passes. Ready? Now! It's ripe for the picking! Harvest time! Ready when you are! All set! Let's get it over with! And done! Three, two, one! Go, go, go! Oh, balloon! This one's ready! I got this! Let's, let's do this! Done and done! Who's next? Easy, easy. That's one more. You never really said, how was it working for my mom? What do you mean? I don't know. What was she like as a boss? She wasn't my direct boss. Quit playing with words. To be honest? I never had a complaint. She was always legit to me. She's the one who scouted me and got me the position. She always supported my work. Sometimes, even against the opinion of my hierarchical superior. Really? And also, I kind of got to meet you thanks to her. <laughs> That's true. Let's not forget to send her a thank you note. <laughs> She'd have a stroke. We still haven't checked out the fragment flagged by the Draca. It is kind of far, though. Double backflip. What's up? Whew. Well, I have to admit, I just flipped once. Oh, yeah, so did I. It's a double, because there's two of us. Oh, okay. in its memory. Ha! Huh. Did you feel that tremor? Yes. And I don't like this at all. Zip 
Into the back. And more rust. Should we take a closer look? Can you keep up back there? Are you kidding? I have to go in slow motion. They're right behind us. Ready when you are. Also, ah. He's right through the picket. Harvest time. Ready? Go, go, go! Let's get it over with. And done. It's almost done. Bye. Done and done. Now what is this? No idea. But its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard pieces in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then, let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Right now? I was thinking about doing that later. On the way back. Okay. We'll be back.
you still need rest? Of course. It's always useful. Ooh. Rather than fall asleep, you could take the lead. Two to nothing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck. But watch out. It won't last. This looks a whole lot cleaner. Wow. I was wondering if we'd ever find one. What is it? A drone charging station. For those that aren't built to harvest their own flow. Just like our old Dracker buddy. That would explain why its location was still in its memory. You mean to tell me that this is some sort of flow pump? No. I mean that's exactly what it is. That's awesome! Do you think it still works? Let's see. What's the matter? It says system malfunction error log sent. Sent as in? I don't know, Kay. Sent. Uh... Did we tattle on ourselves just now? If the apiary is receiving a message coming from source, they're gonna know it's us. Hold on. Can this thing really beam a signal all the way to the apiary? We're millions of lumsec away from the closest planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm probably overreacting. Until we figure it out, we probably shouldn't stay near this thing. That Zygoptera? Depends. What's a Zygoptera? A dragonfly. Then no. Ready to bring back this engine hood? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. Happy to say, that is over and done with. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes. Okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is, at what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, 
all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still okay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still K? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? You know, this planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but, I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. They must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? What do you mean? Did the apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more. sides hmm. why I don't know I just feel like a change is this a trick ah. okay yes my side is all sticky because of you and it's kind of nasty because of me do I need to remind you how the scene unfolded no one cares who started it what matters is who finished you did. On my side of the bed. So we're switching. Okay. Really? I didn't expect you to give in so easily. Ugh! Your side is sticky too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but, I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. 
they must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? What do you mean? Did the apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more.